Good evening, Congressman John Lewis. Congressman John Lewis, before his passing, wrote, democracy is not a state, it is an act. And what he meant was that America's democracy is not guaranteed. It is only as strong as our willingness to fight for it, to guard it, never take it for granted. Protecting our democracy takes struggle, it takes sacrifice. But there is joy in it, and there is progress. Because we, the people, have the power to build a better future. And when our very democracy on the ballot in this election, uh, with the soul of America at stake, and the world watching, you ushered in a new day for America. To our campaign staff and volunteers, this extraordinary team, thank you for bringing your, thank you for bringing more people down ever before into the democratic process. And to the poll workers and the election officials who worked tirelessly to make sure every vote is counted. Our nation owes you a debt of gratitude. You have protected the integrity of our, pro our democracy. You have protected the integrity of our democracy. Um, to the American people who make up our beautiful country, thank you for turning out your record numbers to make your voices heard. And I know the time's been, the, and I know the time's been challenging, especially the last several months. Sorrow, uh, the grief, sorrow, and the pain, the struggles, and the worries and the struggles. But we have also witnessed your courage your resilience and the generosity of your spirit. For four years, you marched and organized uh, for our life, for our life, for our planet. And then you bought it. You sent a clear message. You chose hope, unity, decency, science, and yes, truth. You chose Joe Biden as the next president of the United States of America. Joe is a heater, uniter, a tested and a steady hand. A person whose own experience of loss gives him a sense of purpose. And that will help us as a nation reclaim our sense of purpose. A man with a big heart, who loves with abandon. It's his love uh, for Jill, who would be an incredible first lady. It's his love for Hunter and Ashley and his grandchildren and the entire Biden family. When I first knew Joe as vice president, I really got to know him as a father who loved Bo, my dear friend, we, uh, who we remember here today. And to my husband, Doug, and our children, Cole and Ella, and my sister, Maya, and our whole family, I love you all more than I can ever express. We are so grateful to Joe and Jill for welcoming our family into theirs on this incredible journey. And to the woman most responsible for my presence here today, my mother, Shemaragal Pelan Harris, who is always in our hearts.
Uh, when she came here from India at the age of 19, uh, maybe she didn't quite imagine this moment in America where the moment like this is possible. So I'm thinking about her and about the generation of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women uh, who throughout our nation's history have paved the way of this moment t tonight. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality, liberty, justice for all. <clears throat> Including black women who are often too often overlooked, but so often prove that they are the backbone of our democracy. All the women who have worked to secure and protect, uh, to save our lives, and beat this epidemic, to rebuild our economy, so what works for working people, to root out systemic racism in, to root out systemic racism, to root out systemic racism in our system, to root out systemic racism to our justice system in society to combat the climate crisis, to unite our country and to heal the sorrow of our, and to heal the sorrow of our nation. The road ahead will not be easy. Uh, and I reflect on their struggle, their determination, and the strength of their vision what can be unburdened, uh, to see what can be unburdened by what has been, and what a testimony it is to Joe's character. They had been, uh, they had, uh, they had, a, they had a audacity, uh, what a testimony it is to Joe's character. Um, they had the audacity to break one of the substantial barriers that exist in our country. To rebuild our economy, so what's, what works for working people, to root out systemic racism in our justice system in society, to combat the climate crisis, to unite our, to, to unite our country and heal the sorrow of, sorrow of America. The road ahead will not be easy. Uh, and to uh, select a woman as his vice president. But while I may be the first woman in this election, in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. To the children of our country, to the children of our country, our nation has sent you a clear message. Uh, dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in, and see yourselves in, in see yourselves in, see yourselves in a way that others may not, others may not, simply because they've never seen it before, but know that we will applaud you every step of the way. The road ahead will not be easy. The, lo the road ahead will not be easy, but America is ready, and so are Joe and I. We have elected a president uh, who represents the best in us, a leader the world will watch him, 
and our children will look up to. And, um, and the commanders and the commander in chief who respect our troops and keep our country safe. And the present for all Americans. Now it's my great honor to introduce the president elect of the United States of America, Joe Biden. <laughs>